What are some questions you should be asking on a first date? This can really depend on age and what kind of first date it is. But to general questions, I think people should ask each other to avoid awkward encounters later and to not waste each other's time. Are one, what kind of relationship are you looking for right now? F W B, playing the field, looking to get to know someone, looking for long term, dating to marry. Point two, is there anyone I need to know about? An ex you can't shake, an ex you'll be FFS with, an ex you're co-parenting with. Children are the dependents, a crazy parent. Hoof, that was a hard one for me. I went on my first date with a girl I met on Bumble. She'd recently come over from Africa, and she said she was going to a wedding in another state shortly thereafter. I thought she was coming back. But while she was away, she casually mentioned that she might eventually want to move to Minnesota. Three weeks later, she was still in Maryland. I asked when she'd be back, and she told me she had moved to Minnesota. It was a weird one, but it is what it is. When going on a date with a woman, how long was your longest relationship? Why did it end? Are you looking for something serious, or just going with the flow? Interesting. What makes you say that? Have you ever been arrested? What thing do you know the most about? What do you like to do in your spare time? If you win the lottery tomorrow, what are the first three things you would do? What do you think about homeless people living on the streets? Fav book, movie band. It's not just about asking questions. It's engaging in conversations so you both learn about each other to see if there's something worth pursuing. Good luck. We are both geeks. Our first day. So we ended up having a lot of comic book conversations, and then other geek stuff. And I swear to frick, the second I quoted Spaceballs, both in our top five fave movies, I saw his eyes go from maybe. Tim keeping this one. Other than that usual stuff like what is expected in a partner, future plans, etc. There was a click, so it was easier to talk to each other and joke around. Extra ob, and child free. Not an issue people can really compromise on. If I'm seeing somebody that wants kids, we are wasting each other's time and should just move on. When I was younger and dating less seriously, maybe would work short term, but definitely not now. It might seem like a strong thing to ask right off the bat, but anyone also child free would probably appreciate the upfront question. I always ask the hardest questions. Do you want kids? Do you want to get married? What stage of your life are you in? Looking for a serious relationship, marriage-minded, or do you have reservations about settling down? Do you want to move from this state? Are you willing to move? Met my husband this way, and we got married pretty quickly after. Very happily married with our first baby on the way. What's the stupidest thing you have ever done? What are the biggest differences between normal you and vacation you? What is your favorite story about you and your friends? You can tell a lot about the person by how they are at their least reserved moments, and follow-up questions about why they decided to do these things will tell you a lot about their friends' peer pressure dynamics. Once you start looking for these types of questions, you are already putting yourself in a hole. It's a first date. Just find out if you like her, and not the other way around. You'll have plenty of time to get to know someone. Also, adapt the mentality of NATO, not attached to the outcome. It has saved my heart many times. Think of it like you're just catching up with an old friend. You married or ever have been, or have a committed partner. What's your HIV status? Do you have children? If the date gets mad, walks out, or refuses to answer, you know I date is useless or worse. What are you looking for? Be honest with yourself about what you are open to looking for. Of course, it can change over time, but be upfront if you're just looking for a hooker, short-term thing, or specifically dating for marriage. Also, you don't necessarily have to ask on the first date. That ask about thoughts on kids pretty early. Maybe this is the appropriate answer, but I would truly want to know how many people they are talking to besides me. When I started talking to my boyfriend, he told me that he would tell other girls he was talking to that he was only interested in me, and it's been over a year. A year, honestly, is hard to find, and I'm glad I found it. Long version of Stumpy PP Gage Zero or Five Niggle Six Beat to Nine Tie for 3D. Come watch. V3 Ox Stumpy PP Gage for zero or five niggle Sigsby to nine tie for 3D. X to OB. Short version. Come watch. 
VWN9JQ3Z1MPP Gufpen3 Kybiot Bibib 63D3D. -d. Words only matter after you got the basics down. First stop using the internet then. Physically fit. Healthy smell ideally not cologne. Comfortable in your skin. Competent in social norms. Make them laugh and feel safe. My first dates all went terrible and I'm forever alone. So I don't know what questions to ask. For the love of all things. Do not go on a first date with a list of questions. It's not an interview process right now. It's about enjoying each other enough to want to go on another date. Edda. Note. I've been married for 29 years. So eek shit about dating. My point is. Engage with them. Listen and be genuine. Focusing on asking questions would be considered interrogation rather than conversation. Ali of the light and especially polite sort with you talking to each other rather than simply digging for more information than just grilling somebody regarding what you would like to hear about them. First date is about getting to know the person so I'd ask about hobbies, future plans, personality like morals and stuff. What makes them laugh or happy? What makes them sad or angry, etc.? My job on the first date is to know if this person is a potential lover or just friends. Or we shouldn't talk anymore. Can you bite your own toenails as bumfun off limits? Are you okay with a guy that is a man child and laughs, farts, etc.? Are you mental? Do you have daddy ex issues? Are you over them? Do you need to argue all the time or okay just being chill? Can you say when you are unhappy and not hide it? Do you want children, if they say yes, or even allude to the possibility of even considering having a child? It's over then and there for me. It may be questionable to some, but that's one of my three non-negotiable things. No kids, no religious families, and I'm never moving out of my house. My recent ex wanted to get married very fast. We are only 20 while well, he was 21 that he wanted to marry after being together for a year. So on a first date, I would ask someone if they're dating for marriage and if so what would be their timeline for that, so I don't waste my time. What are your intentions with dating? Huh? Are you dating for fun or looking for something long term? I believe that after a certain age. This is a valid question. I need to know if the time and energy I put into someone else is going to be well spent or better. Used elsewhere. Wow. Good question. It's been so long since my wife and I had her first date. I think I would ask what their interests are. Ask genuine questions. Be attentive to what they say. Just try to keep the conversation positive and upbeat even if they aren't. What's your debt to income ratio? Are you taking advantage of your employers for 01k contributions? Can you state Pythagoras theorem? How do you feel about universal healthcare? These should tell you all you need to know about a person. If you're a boy and not gay, make sure she's a girl. If you're a boy and gay, make sure both of you are match each other. If you're a girl and not gay, make sure he's not gay. If you're a girl and gay, make sure she's a girl. Ask if they're close to their family. What hobbies they have. If they have many with the flow and try to be relaxed and see if you enjoy being around them. I wouldn't ask any too intense questions at that stage. App Awaken Times. Do you watch TV? How much? Do you have one in the bedroom? Have you done time? How long ago? Do you have any drugs you take that are opioids? How much alcohol do you drink? How often? Do you want something serious that lasts forever? Do you want kids? Are you religious? If so, what? How would you raise your kids? What are your political views? ETC? Just important long-term stuff. Honestly, if I ever think that I'm going to be intimate with them, how many bodies? If going to consider a relationship with them after that question, I'm going to ask what their credit score is. I'm 31F. On the first day, I expect to learn the following pieces of information, how old they are, where they're from, if they're divorced, have kids, housing situation, occupation, interests. Do you want kids? How do you feel about monogamy? 90 of our ATA is people whining about finding out 100 years into a relationship that one or the other doesn't want kids, oh isn't monogamous. Do you want kids? Also do you like cats? What foods are you allergic to or dislike? What kind of music do you like? 
also if you had to kill a person and dispose of them. How would you do it? Do you want kids? Hard question for a first date. But these types of questions determine if it's worth a second date. I'm not wasting my time with someone not on the same page with me. Are you married or single single? Does someone else think you're not single? Have you recently just gone on a break from each other? Or are you really ready to move on? Have you ever had sex with your dad? If they answer either yes or no, doesn't matter. It's a red flag. If I get slapped for asking, then oh my god, she's the one. Once you're in your late 20s and 30s, you should probably ask if they want to have kids to get that out of the way in case you want. Different things. How far does your music taste go? Do you just listen to what's on the radio? Or do you spend hours scrolling through Spotify trying to find actual good music? A good one to get to know someone quickly. If you were to do one thing for eternity, what would it be? It opens up to some fascinating conversations. I went on one of those 12 person, three minute each dating thingy. The first question I remember was what do you do for a living? Straight to the point lol. I always found information about how they think of their exes as interesting. Especially since, statistically speaking, you're going to be one of them. What happens to you when you don't get your needs met? What gives you meaning? What are you reading? What's the hardest part of your family right now? Sue. Ah. Sup with dat brain. Door slams. Hello. Hey, the op didn't specify why you should ask these questions. Maybe has a self-saboteur. If you could be any kitchen appliance, which one would you be? And can you handle the pressure of being constantly used and occasionally burned?